this is the how to plumbing channel my name is Claude Taylor to all my friends and subscribers welcome back and if you are new to this channel I hope you like the video and if you do give it a thumbs up and become a subscriber also hit that notification bell find out the latest videos that are coming out thank you this video here is going to be all about how to unclog the bathroom sink in your bathroom and the easiest and best way to go at it okay what I'm doing here is of course I'm filling this sink up with a little water actually I'm not trying to fill it up it's actually uh, partially clogged so you can see that it is going down slow so usually before I uh, try to uh, clear a line with a sewer machine which we are going to do in this video <clears throat> I like to try some of the simple things first and that's what we're going to do right now we're going to do the simplest things right now and normally what I do is I will take a rag and I'll wet the rag and if you notice on almost every bathroom sink there's a little small hole at the top of the uh, sink itself here I'll show you right now and that small hole is more or less like a overflow in case the water starts to get too high some of it can drain out you see the hole right there the, the water drain out in that hole right there and go around that's if someone leaves the water on and has the stopper in there so the trick is we're going to plug that hold up and we're going to use a plunger first we're going to try to use it work it with a plunger before we go any further and first we're going to get a little water in there so that with the plunger have something to uh, push down through the uh, drain now you see as I push down on the plunger the water comes out that hole right there okay now that's the problem what we're going to do is we're going to cover that hole up so that when we do plunge the water go the pressure will go through the drain rather than back up through that hole and create pressure to clear the line and usually this turns out to be pretty simple and it will work but sometimes if it's difficult uh, there are other procedures that we would need to take and we will on this video now if you look a little closer you notice that the water is going down a little faster a little faster that may be pretty good for some people but uh, that's not going to be good enough for us so on to the next one I'm gonna take you to another bathroom sink and we're gonna come back to this one and I'm gonna show you how we eventually clear this line and have a nice fast flow now this is the next sink and this is another place and 90% of the time especially in newer homes homes no more than 10 years old 90% of the times it's gonna be hair and again before we go to any measures we're going to try the simplest things first before we move on to anything that may be a little more complicated so what I did here is I grabbed a small plastic container and this is the place that I like to start the, f the most the first before you know I even after plunging because I know the issue is most more, more than most likely right here and you can see right there all the hair that's down in there okay there's even more hair than that down in there but you can see the issue and you notice I pulled the uh, the pop-up plug the lever out that way I can have a straight shot from up top down to the uh, bottom up under the uh, sink so now I'm going to uh, remove the P 
P-trap. And by the way, if you're wondering what a P-trap is, the purpose of a P-trap is, okay, you see some of the gook in there. The purpose of a P-trap is to hold water, and that water prevents sewer gas from coming back up into your house. That's the purpose of a P-trap. Okay, all I did is took a little bit of tissue and a wire coat hanger and just pushed it down through the uh, drain to clear out any other access uh, debris that may be in there. Now keep in mind, if you did and were to call a professional uh, drain cleaning service company, from what I understand from a friend of mine, now it, it will cost you up to $425 to have this here done to clear your uh, lav sink and some of them may be lenient and if that's all they have to do is take the trap off they may not charge you much but if they have to actually pull their machine out and run through your drain you're looking at around four hundred and twenty five dollars at least if not maybe hopefully less and depending on where you live what part of the country could be more and throughout this video I am going to show you how uh, to use the uh, drain cleaning machine and the service that they will give when they come out okay now that was all to this one and now we're going back to the other one and you can see that it is draining a little better after plunging but still not good enough now listen real close okay you hear that that's an indication that there's a partial stoppage in your line so going to take care of that partial stoppage and me when I do go to a home or anywhere to do some unclogging I like to bring my, my my sponge my channel lock a bucket and some nice clean cloths to clean up and keep water off the uh, bottom of the cabinet or the floor now in this video here you're not only going to see me uh, clear the line with a drain cleaning machine. This is a bonus. This is going to be a bonus video. We actually, it's a bonus video because we're going to go to a little more in depth of what could happen. And you will see why a lot of the companies really can't give you an estimate over the phone on how to, uh, on clearing your line. And again, the first place that I start after the plunge is to go about removing the uh, trap. This one's not too bad, so it's pretty clear. So we know that the uh, partial stoppage is not right there. And we do have a little hair there, but that's not enough to make it make that bloop sound. Uh, that's going to be a little further in the wall and back going towards the vent because the bloop sound is the sound of the uh, drain trying to gasp for air
And what I'm going to do here is just like I did with the other one in the video to clear the hair that's coming out the drain and any other debris that's up in there is I'm going to also run a rag down through that. But first I'm going to have to remove this lever right here. And that lever is the uh, lever that operates the pop-up plug to uh, plug the uh, sink when you need to or unplug it. And this one's actually not connect connected at all anyway because of the uh, slow drain. It's been pulled out. And a lot of people do that uh, to uh, try to get it to drain faster. And that water you see coming out was coming out from the uh, the hole where I removed the lever. And you can see the rag, of course, coming through, clearing out any of the rest of the debris that's on the side of the uh, drain so that we have a nice, clean drain. And I had to run the water on the uh, rags because they were actually too dry and it was really hard to kind of push it through I probably put too many in there but uh, that's why that water is there okay now that we've done that it's about time that we uh, pull the J-band in off the J-band is the uh, part that looks like a J and we're going to pull that out so that we can start running uh, the sewer machine And I, you probably didn't see it, but I noticed something that uh, that may create a problem. And this is where the bonus video comes in. The drain was actually disconnected behind the wall. So we're not going to be able to run a machine to that. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to, here we are on the other side. I actually measured it out and right behind the microwave is where that uh, pipe is so I'm going to remove the microwave and we're going to cut the wall and get access to the uh, drain pipe so that we can make the uh, necessary repairs this is just a small template that I made up I got uh, quite a few in different sizes 
Uh, if you're doing something like this a lot, it makes it quick and easy. Now, along with the $425 that they, from what I understand, they're charging now, charge that they would charge you for clearing the uh, bathroom sink, this part here is not included in that price. So, you can expect the uh, whoever's coming to uh, clear your line to give you another price or have a plumber come out and give you another price and quote you a price so that would be another price along with the 425 it's just something to give you something to something you could think about And if it looks like it's an odd spot where the pipe should be, uh, it's not. This is like a bi-level house, so the second floor is actually a, probably no more than three to four feet up. And so it's like a split level, and that's why the uh, pipe is where it is. And if you're wondering and curious about the tool that I just used to cut the opening in the wall, that's called a multi-tool. And as you can see, it comes in very, it's very handy. Before this, I used to use a uh, keyhole saw and I mean, that was, that work, that was pretty effective, but uh, not as easy. Now we can see where the uh, drain pipe was disconnected from in the wall and the uh, damage that it kind of did to the wood um, and probably could have and would have gotten worse. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut part of this drain pipe out and put a new 90 and new piece of pipe and just glue it back together. And prior to me cutting this, if you notice that I was in the, I had my hand in the wall feeling on the pipe and shaking it and moving it, I just wanted to make sure that there was no other issues down the line that that piece of pipe right there would come out. Uh, and it's seeing pretty sturdy and strong, so we should be pretty good here. Just cut this piece out and we'll be fine. And once again, well once I get this out, I'm going to check it again, wiggle it try to roll it back and forth and see if we can okay
so I actually cut that from the other side up under the uh, sink itself you see I'm testing it again to make sure that's strong uh, up under the sink itself because I didn't want to uh, pull it through that hole and make the hole larger than what it was I want to try to use that exact same hold so that we don't have a, uh, a gap between the pipe and uh, the wall from up underneath the uh, cabinet this is uh here's the 90 it's an inch and a half 90 and these are two inch and a half couplings one is a uh, standard coupling and the other is a slip the one without the ring is a slip coupling uh, that's just that's just for tight places where you really can't get to they kind of help you just slide it down the pipe and slide it back up. Something you couldn't do with the uh, standard coupling. And of course before we glue anything up we're going to clean it. And this is our primer to clean the pipe. And the primer actually heats the pipe up also. And that makes for a good adhesive once it's pushed together. And the piece that I put in the uh, inch and a half 90 is not glued. It's just a random piece. Random meaning just a random piece that I grab to uh, hold in place so that I can get a measurement for the uh, piece of pipe that's going to go right here. And I know you can't see it very well. I know you see the numbers, but it's going to be a three inch piece. So I'm going to cut a three inch piece. I'm going to squeeze that in there along with the coupling and we should be pretty much on the money. And I'm putting that pipe in the hole right now because it's going to line me out with my uh, inch and a half 90 so that I know that I'm aiming straight for the hole.
and it won't be glued right now the piece that's in the wall but uh, I will glue it from the other side once I get this in place and it's always uh, good to once you push the pipe into the fitting and the, and the glue is to turn it so that if there's any voids it'll get the void out Now you can see that that uh, turned out nice and it's uh, nice and pretty straight with the hold. So now I have to do is just go on back on the other side up under the sink and pull that piece back out, prime it and glue it and push it back in. And like I said, it's a random piece so I'm sure I am going to have to uh, cut some of the pipe off on the other side because it's a little longer than I need. Okay, back on the other side, as I said, this random piece would be a little too long. I knew it would, so we're just going to cut it enough off so that we can uh, fit the uh, P-trap assembly up under here. And the tool that I'm using here is a small reciprocating saw. I know a lot of these tools, if you're a homeowner owner or a do-it-yourselfer, uh, you may not have these tools laying around, but uh, for those of you who do, or if you're interested in getting something like this, at least you'll know what I'm working with and can make your job a lot easier, especially if you're going to do it quite a bit. You can also use a hacksaw to do the same thing that I've done here. But you can see the tight space that you have to work in. It's not going to be as easy. But uh, just giving you ideas. Also, whenever using the glue and the primer here like this, this is tight quarters. It's a good idea to have some kind of air circulating through the room. Uh, this stuff can overwhelm you at times. And this is the a trap adapter. This is what we call a trap adapter. This is an inch and a half trap adapter that we're putting in here. And trap adapter because it adapts to the trap.
this little lever is kind of in the way of the uh, using the uh, drain cleaning machine so I just kind of put it up and up out of place out of my out of my way and this drain machine if you notice the head on it it is a drop head and that should make this job a little easier because once I get to the vertical part of the pipe rather than the snake going up to the uh, vent it will drop down and go to the uh, drainage system and again this is a tight area to work in and this is a, a Milwaukee sink drain machine it's battery operated lightweight you can get one you can get uh, okay using a drain machine is really not that hard if you noticed the first thing I do is push it in with my hand and basically all I am going to use is my hand the machine I'm, I'm hardly putting any effort into it so I just push until I feel the area where it's gonna stop and I feel that uh, there may be the stoppage or it may be a change of direction meaning a elbow or something that I need to get past okay this was not a uh, serious stoppage but it was enough to uh, restrict a lot of the flow of water going through there and this is a 25 foot uh, cable machine uh, and most cases in a lab sink you're not going to go much further than 25 feet we've already made it to the uh, main line the uh, stack going down so this line is pretty clear so now we're going to uh, put the tree P trap back on and we're going to fill the sink up or we can let it the water run and we'll see how quickly the water goes down now and this is a new P trap that I purchased I probably more than most likely could have used the old one but uh, once I made a trip to the store I wasn't making a second trip so I was making sure I had everything that I needed And if you know plumbers, we usually get two of everything, just in case. There's always that. Plumbing is Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong, will. We buy two cans of glue, one to kick over and one to use. This is... Um, what I'm showing you here is a inch and a half by inch and a quarter um, washer because most lav sinks, all lav sinks are going to be inch and a quarter. The drains coming down from the uh, lav sink is going to be inch and a quarter. Uh, back in the day they used to run a lot of inch and a quarter pipe actually traps up under the sinks but you very seldom see that anymore. Now everything's inch and a half which is much better. It gives you more flow and more of an opening. And I like to just put that there to uh, hold the trap in place so that I can line up the drain. But I see there was something here I forgot. I forgot to put the other um, nut on that goes down to the uh, j bin to the trap.
Okay, now you can see the difference. Big difference. Again, I'm Claude Taylor. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and become a new subscriber.